Salama from East Madagascar. My name is Daniel Warsaw, I'm Wellington Zoo's General Manager of Business and Partnerships and I'm here working with Madagascar Fauna and Flora Group, otherwise known as MFG, who are one of Wellington Zoo's conservation partners helping to save animals in the wild. I've um, spent the last few days up here in Batampana, um, a special natural reserve in East Madagascar which is managed by MFG. It's so special that you actually need a permit just to get here. Um, it's also a very long way um, to get here. You need to travel, as I did, um, along a very, very bumpy road um, in a taxi brass, which is a bush taxi, um, then cross a river in a canoe, um, then you need to hike for about an hour and a half um, through many villages and then up, up, up the mountain to um, the Rindurindri village which is where the um, MFG uh, field station is based. Uh, I've spent the last uh, couple of days hiking in Batampana just seeing exactly what the work MFG are doing in the special reserve um, co constitutes and it's been an absolute privilege just to experience um, walking around and seeing the significant biodiversity of Madagascar for myself. Um, it's a very, very special place, one of the biodiversity hotspots of the world and it's a really, really great thing for Wellington Zoo to support MFG uh, financially, annually as part of our conservation program, Saving Animals in the Wild here in Madagascar. Um, during my hike today I was fortunate enough to see two groups of black and white ruffed lemurs. Um, these are the exact same lemurs that we have at Wellington Zoo. And anyone that's been to Wellington Zoo will know the significant, um, shall we say, quite loud and interesting call that black and white rough lemurs make. And um, I was very fortunate to hear the groups that I heard call, but also a number of other groups in um, the valley and the park um, and the, the reserve call out to each other sort of from all directions. It was quite an incredible experience. Um, they're very hard to see in the wild because they actually live way up at the top of these trees. Um, the trees anywhere from 20 to 30 metres um, at a minimum is where they like to be. So um, thanks to um, a keen eyesight of my guide Bernard, um, we were able to spot these um, and that was absolutely amazing. This is a very special place for the black and white ruffed lemurs. This reserve in particular was um, is, is almost like a mainland island. The forests of Madagascar and one of the reasons why um, conservation uh, work is so important here, the forests have been um, slowly reduced to just fragments across the nation due to slash and burn agriculture, mining and also uh, illegal logging, uh, particularly of hardwoods such as rosewood and ebony. Um, which make up most of the trees in this forest coincidentally. But this is like a mainland island so it is a very very special place. It's been secured because of the work of MFG. So um, for me it's been wonderful to actually see the work of MFG. I saw the work they're doing um, educating villagers into terms of reforestation and I'll um, give you some more information on that in my next update. Um, but um, I've also was able to see for myself the um, precious um, conservation work that they're doing here at Batampana Special Natural Reserve. So um, it was absolutely amazing and I think seeing that um, Wellington Zoo contributes funds to help MFG, it's actually absolutely brilliant to see that work 
um, translating across into animals that are healthy and thriving in, in, in a wild environment, um, which unfortunately would otherwise not be here um, without MFG's work. Um, my, my guide Bernard told me that um, if MFG weren't looking after this place, it um, would have been burnt down and um, turned into agricultural use many years ago. And he's, he's a local villager here and um, he, he, he speaks with a great deal of um, of his responsibility for saving this place so it's absolutely brilliant to see MFG engaging with the local people um, and being led by local people such as Bernard. I'll, um, next week I'll be working with MFG on um, developing a, a new strategy for them to help them as an organisation to move forward and put in place some business plans for the next um, financial year for them. So I'll give you a further update on that over the course of the week to come.